in Essex again. Um, same field we was on a couple of weeks ago where Lee found a couple of hammocks. Um, we've got Lee with me again. Um, that young man there is a man called Ed. Uh, he's another mate from work. It's his first time out detecting. He's using Lee's old Ace 250 to see what it's like. See if he enjoys the hobby. We'll see if we can get him addicted like we are. Um, yeah, so ho hopefully he finds something good. You never know. Um, yeah, so we've got Lee, me and Ed all out in Essex. Same field, found Hammards and had a couple of Romans off here as well. So hopefully we're going to find some more. So see you on the first good target, guys. See you in a bit. All right, there's the first one, guys. Maybe part of a buckle or something. Mm, don't know, a bit of decoration on there. Could be a little piece of a buckle. I'm not sure. It's not bad for a first target. All right, see you on the next one. There's the first button of the day. It's your normal, plain old boring button. Well, it's got the clasp on there, but yeah, that's about it. All right, see you on the next. There's a little buckle. Um, yeah, not sure about age, but quite a nice one. All intact. It's not bad actually, we've just walked up here. A few targets already. I'll see you on the next one. Right, there's the next one, guys. I think it's a little harness ring. Looks like it's been pretty bent out of shape. Yeah, it looks like a little harness ring to me. Alright, see you on the next. Alright, got a nice, really nice high signal here. Nice clean one. Should be able to hear that through my headphones. The volume I have it on anyway. Um, Alright, let's see what it is. Let's see what the pinpointing was like today. Could be on the side. Have a look. It's around here somewhere. In there. Well, the pinpointing was off again. Always is. A little bit of brass or something, I think, or copper. Oh well, yeah, nothing interesting. All right, on to the next. All right, guys, next one should be in here somewhere. There it is, just flicked it out the hole, and it's another button. Oh well, all right, moving on. All right, there's the next one, guys, just a little piece of really green bronze. Nothing in particular, but. Looks quite old, so it could be in a good spot. Let's see what else we can find around here. Right, there's the next one, guys. Uh, a little bit of a crotal bill. I don't know if you guys will remember, last time I was on here, I think I had like three pieces of crotal bells and one whole one. Lee just had another bit over there, so this field's just full of crotal bells, but so there's loads of them. Yeah, cool. Lovely. All right, see you on the next one. First coin of the day. Um, yeah, nothing special, just a battered old copper. Possibly. George III or something, but there's nothing on there, just a blank coin. All right, see you on the next one. Here's the next one, guys. I think it might be a pot mend a piece of lead. Looks like it might be part of a pot mend, maybe. There's loads of lead around this part of the field. Loads of activity, though, so you might find something good. All right, see you on the next one. All right, there's that one. Uh, not a clue what it is. Anybody got any ideas? Stick it in the comments. I don't know if it's anything actually interesting, I just thought I'd show it just in case. Yeah, there you go. On to the next. There's the next one, guys. Nice little piece of crotal bell. Crotal bell, sorry, I can't talk. Um, yeah, it looks like it might have been, I don't know if it's silvered or something, I don't know. But it's definitely got a silver colour to it. I'm going to check it out when I get home and clean it up. Yeah, another one. Alright, see you on the next. Alright, there's this one, guys. Um, I thought it was just a bit of rubbish at first, but... Just looking at the way that curls around there, this is like it's, I thought it was like a nail or something at first, but I think that is actually, it's got two broken off bits there. So I don't know, maybe it's a little bit of buckle or something. Oh, I don't know. But I reckon it's something. It's not just a nail like I first thought it was. Uh, yeah, cool. See you on next. 
There's the next one. Maybe part of some sort of buckle or something. Looks like it's got some age to it though. It's pretty cool. See you on the next. Alright, here's the next one. I'm not sure if it's of some sort of button or something. It's definitely got something on there though. A bit of iron on the back or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. Might just be a button. There's definitely some sort of pattern on there or something. Pretty cool. I'll get it cleaned up. See you on the next. Alright guys, I've just seen this one. Just dug it out of the hole. Just pinpointed it there. Look at that. Get in. On the Roman. Look at that. That's a nice one as well. Oh yeah. Look at that. Quite a small one. And it's nice. Nice little Roman brooch. Get in. Little fibula. Alright. Going back to have some lunch now. But I might have to come back to this area. See if there's any more around. Alright. See you on the next. I've just found this little spectacle buckle. It's quite a nice one. Um, Lee has apparently just found... The best crotal bell he's ever seen. So I'm going to go and have a quick look at that. One second. There's Edward learning his detector. There's Lee. It's apparently the best crotal bell he's ever seen. Oh, that is nice, that's actually, isn't it? Peachy, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, I reckon that's pewter, isn't it? I think, I think that's the same as like that, that piece I just found. But you got the full one. Oh wow, look at that. The maker's mark at the bottom there by the looks of it. What is that? If that's an, an OL or QL? Not sure. It looks silver, doesn't it? But I don't think it is. I think it's just pewter. That's really nice. Nice one. Alright. See you on the next one. It's got a little musket ball or pistol ball. Pistol shot, whatever you want to call it. It's a ball and it's made out of lead and it goes in a gun. Um, yeah. See you in a bit. There's a little bag seal. It's about the same same type of one that I had here when I was here last time, sorry. Got that little thing on the back. Almost like a little bag seal. Alright, see you in a bit. Uh, got another little worn coin. Possibly another Georgian one, I think. George III, maybe, I don't know. I can't actually see anything on it, to be honest. Yeah, it's cool. It's another coin. Alright, on to the Just got this one on the surface. Another little buckle. I don't think it's got too much age to it, but it's a nice little buckle. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, next one's out there. Just flicked it out of the hole. Quite a nice signal. Could be something good, or it could just be more rubbish like I've been getting for the last hour or so. I'm over near where I just found that Roman brooch, so I'm hoping there's more Roman around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Little musket ball. Yep, second one I've had today. And a nice little pistol shot. Cool. Alright, see you in a bit. And there's another one. Another big musket ball. A little musket ball spot. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright guys, got a, another big surface find. A big old green coin. Just sitting right there on the surface. And a little sunbathe. What is that? Penny. What is it? Probably Victoria or someone, I think. Yeah, Victoria, Bunhead, I think, I don't know if you can see the year, but yeah, little Victorian penny, just sitting on the surface, cool. Alright, see you in a bit. I'm going to try and get this one live, it's a nice, really big signal, could be a big old penny again, or it might be a bit of lead or something like that, let's have a look, could even be like a tin can or something. Still in there. It's there somewhere. Right. 
go down there. I think it's a bit of lead actually. Oh no, it's not even lead. Another bloody can. I've had three of these now. Bloody hell. Right, on to the next. There's the next one. Just a little lead disc of some sort. I thought it might have been like a lead button or something, I don't know. But there's nothing on the back. It sort of goes in there. I don't know, just some sort of lead disc. Right, on to the next. Just add this one up. I'm not sure what that is, but that's pretty cool. Would have had some, maybe like a stone in there or something, I don't know. It's got a little bit of blue left in that one, whatever that is. Yeah, I don't know if it's like part of a buckle or... I don't know. It definitely would have had some sort of decoration on it, so... It might have been pretty cool at some point. Yeah, I don't know. Any ideas? Stick it in the comments. Yeah, it's not a bad little find, though. Right, let's see the next. Right, just ne um, dug the next one out. It's this one here, and it's like a little buckle. It'll be quite a nice one, actually. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They're a few hundred years old, maybe. Yeah, nice little buckle. Right, moving on. Right, guys, just want to give a quick shout out to the North Button Boy. See that sticker there? Go check him out on YouTube. Thanks, Jason. Uh, thanks for the little delivery of stickers. Got one on my spade. I'm going to put some somewhere else. I don't know where yet. But um, yeah, go check him out if you don't know about him yet. But yeah, definitely a good YouTube channel. Finds loads of good stuff, loads of hammers. Um, oh, what do you call it? Mine's gone completely bloody blank. Celtic Stater, that was it. Yeah, he had a Celtic Stater a few weeks ago. Lovely one. So yeah, go and check him out. And thanks for the stickers. All right, see you in a bit. Right, this one. I swear I've seen one of these before, but I can't think what the hell it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure I've seen one. I don't know, anybody out there knows what it is, can you stick it in the comments for me? But yeah, it's one of them. I haven't got a clue. I'm sure I've seen one somewhere. Nope, not a clue. I've got a button recording situation yet. I haven't looked at it yet. What's that? I think that's a coin. Um, is it a coin? Actually sure, I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a coin. I can't look at what though. Oh, well, that's this. Um, I actually don't know. Still a bit confused whether it is actually a button or a coin now. Doesn't look like a coin now, to be honest, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go with... I don't know, I'll say some sort of token or something actually, maybe. I'll have to try and get it cleaned up and I'll let you know. Right, so no, that's the best I can clean it up. Um, yeah, I don't know, I think it might be... could actually be a button. It says London on there, I think, somewhere. I don't think it's anything special to be honest. Right, moving on. Right, here's Lee's finds. It's got this nice little button. Possibly like a dragon on there, or is it a phoenix or something? I'm not sure. It's quite nice though, little library button. Um, so that George the Sixth, I think it is. 1942, I think it was. Little ship halfpenny. Um, not sure what that is. I think that might be a Victorian. Little Victorian penny. And here's the best one. A little cradle bell. That's really nice, that one. Could even be silver. I, don't, I doubt it's silver. I think it's pewter, isn't it? <clears throat> it's nice. You've got the maker's mark on the bottom as well. I think it's CL. Yeah, it's a nice one. Let's see if I can get any of Ed's finds. Right, one sec. Right, guys. Um, just finishing off now. Um, we went bad hunt, actually. We've got... Oh, I've got the Roman fibula, so I'm always happy with finding a bit of Roman. I love finding Roman all the time. Um, 
What did Lee got? Lee got a nice little crotal bell, little rose farthing, I think it was. Um, a few little, I'll try and get some pictures of stuff that Lee and Ed got. I don't think Ed found very much. He got, a, I think, a couple of coins. He's done all right for his first day out. I think he enjoyed it, so I think he'll be coming back. He might even be looking to buy his own metal detector soon. We'll get him addicted. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'll try and put some pictures on after this. Some of the finds we found. And um, yeah, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. See you later.